Hi, I'm George Giltner from TechPoint Foundation for Youth, and I'm going to walk you through on how to install and use VexCode IQ blocks to write your first program for your robot. Before we dive into VexCode IQ blocks, you actually need to install a different program to make sure that all the devices that you want to program are up to date to the latest version. So, let me walk you through on how to do this. You're going to go to the website, Vex Robotics, and at the very top, we're going to select IQ. And over here under Downloads, we're going to go to VEX OS Operating System Firmware. So we're going to start there before we actually get to the coding. This is a pretty commonly misstep where a lot of people do not update the devices before they start to program. I like the graphics down here because it's going to show us really the process of what we're going to do. We're going to download the VEX Operating System Utility. We're going to connect all of the devices that we'll use on a robot which would include the remote, any motors, or sensors that we'll use. You'll turn on the brain, and this is what the program will look like. It's very simple. It will detect everything that you have plugged in via USB, and you'll click on Install to install the update for all of those devices. Yellow means that they're out of date, and once you click Install, they'll all turn green to show that they are up-to-date, current, and ready to be used in programs. So, I'm going to click on Download. I'm going to save it on my desktop. You can save it wherever. And you're going to open up the VEX OS Operating System Utility Setup. And you need to make sure your computer has administrative rights in order to install this on the computer. I already have this installed on my computer, but for you, you would go through this process and hitting Next all the way to the end to make sure it's installed. And then I also recommend that you restart your computer after you install the software. I've already gone through that process. I've installed it. I've restarted my computer. So let me just go ahead and open it up for you. Show you what it looks like. This is it. It's very really simple. Um, what it's going to do is it's checking. You can see here, here's your computer checking the internet to see if there's any updates. There is not for me. Um, if it is, it'll tell you there's an update, so it'll uh, install the update on your computer. And then it's looking for any VEX uh, brain that's connected to the devices as you see in this graphic behind here. All right, let me show you how you're going to get all of the firmware that's on your VEX operating system on your computer onto your VEX IQ brain, remote, motors, and any sensors you have attached. You're going to need the USB cable that you use to charge your remote. You'll need the tether cable that looks like an ethernet cable. And you're going to plug both of those into the side of your brain right here where it says download and tether. So I'm just going to take the micro USB cable and plug this into the side of the brain. And I'm going to take the blue cable and plug it into tether. Now, the other end of the blue cable is just going to plug right into the other side of the remote where it also says tether. And I'm going to plug in the USB cable, as you could probably guess, into the computer. So what it'll look like when it's all done is you will have um, your brain already attached to your motors. So you can see in this example my motors, I have two of them, are going to be attached already to my brain on ports 1 and 6. The blue Ethernet cable is going to my remote and the USB cable is going to plug into my computer. And once I do that, as long as my brain is turned on, my brain is turned on, on the VEX OS utility, um, it should recognize everything that you have. So you can see I now have motor one and six plugged in. I have my remote and I have the brain. They're all turned green, meaning everything is updated. If they are yellow, um, what's going to happen right here is on this button right here, it'll say install. You'll hit the install button and it'll go through and go ahead and install all the firmware that you need on any of the motors, remotes, um, brain, or even radio uh, that's out of date. Now that your robot has the latest version of firmware, you're ready to start programming. On the VEX website, you're going to want to go to IQ at the top and then downloads and then VEX code IQ blocks. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom where it says click here to download or you can actually go to download at the very top of the screen. Either one will get you to the same page. There's a lot of different ways you can download this. You can do this on a Chromebook, on Windows, Mac, an iPad, 
or an Android device. So this is the Windows PC, so I'm gonna download for Windows. Let me just save this on my desktop. All right, now that that has downloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and install on my Windows PC. Again, you do need to have administrative rights to install this on the computer. And I'm just gonna click next through all of these, accept the terms, of course, read it if you wanted to, hit install. You can then click on finish. And then on your desktop, it would have installed some icons to load the software. So we're gonna minimize that screen. And go ahead and double click on your VEX code blocks icon and it will load up the software. We're gonna just write our first program, very easy. Uh, for your students that have used Scratch before, they're gonna see there's a lot of similarities to Scratch. In fact, it's using the same software as Scratch. When started and is typically your first command, that's gonna be equivalent to hitting the check mark on our brain. I'm just gonna do a simple command right here where it says print hello. So I'm just gonna to get to say hello and uh, I'm gonna hit download. Since I have not saved it, it's gonna ask where do I wanna save this VEX code project? So I'm just gonna save this to my desktop for now. So I'm gonna hit save. All right, now that you've actually written your first line of code, in, in this example it says print hello, so we're gonna get the robot to say hello. I'm gonna show you the hardware portion of how to actually connect your robot to the computer in order to get that code on that brain. So the only thing you're gonna need is the, the USB cable to connect these two devices. So you're gonna take the small end of the USB cable and plug it into that download port on the side of the robot. So I'm gonna plug that in. And then of course the USB cable is just gonna plug into your computer. In this example, I already have the brain turned on, so my robot's turned on. And in the top right corner, you're gonna see the brain to actually turn green. And I'm gonna click on the download button. And when I click that download button, really the only indication that it is successfully downloaded is um, you'll see a little green light here on my, on my robot. You're gonna, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it's going to flash. So I'm gonna kind of zoom in on here. I'm gonna hit the download button and you're gonna see it turn off and turn on. It was that quick. It's now installed. You'll also notice in slot one, underneath driver control, it says VEX code project. That's the name of the software that I called it right here on the title. So it says VEX code project. That aligns with what I called it here. So I'm gonna just hit the check mark, and watch what happens. Our robot says hello. So we've now successfully written our first line of code and our got a robot to actually say hello. You're now ready to start coding your robot to do a lot of other things.